Gregors and welcome to another Geek DIY, the series where I show you how to DIY geek style. In this video I am going to show you how to make this Ghibli inspired Calcifer tree ornament. To make the decoration we will need some felt in different colours depending on what your design is. I find that Amazon is the cheapest for felt, you get quite a big bundle of felt for quite cheap especially compared to the craft stores who sell them at a couple of quid per sheet. Need needle and thread. Might need some pins. Need a pen to draw on any details. Some glitter glue is always good to make it Christmassy. Some glue. You can either use PVA, tacky glue or Yuhu glue. You just want a glue that will not soak into the material. You'll need some elastic. I have some shiny silver elastic. You need a template so you can get the same size every time. And you will need some scissors. And don't forget the stuffing. I always forget to mention the stuffing. I am using some cotton wool. Um, you can use an old pillow, the insides of an old pillow, an old cuddly toy, anything that you can stuff it with, even paper. First I'm going to get the red and just as a guideline I am going to dot around my circle template. But as Kelsever isn't a circle this is just a guide for the size. I'm going to get the scissors. And then cut quite a haphazard line around the outside of the circle. And then when we get to the top of the circle, we want to pull it up to a point. And then we want to go back down again. So we have this funny shape. Then we want to go in with the orange. Try and find an area that's going to fit. But again, we draw around the circle for a template. Now we want the orange one to fit inside of the red one, so it needs to be smaller. Measure these two up, and we could go a little bit smaller, and we need to fix this top piece. Now we go, that's better. And then we need to go in with the yellow. And I'm going to use the orange as a template for the yellow. I want to go in and make it even smaller. Measure that up again. Needs to be a bit smaller in places. And we need to grab some white to make some eyes. We just fold it over. Calcifer has quite big eyes so we've done them quite large. There we go. I am just going to put them back together and just flatten off the top and button a little bit just so he doesn't look so surprised. Also we need to just get an extra little bit of red for his mouth. Next we take our needle and thread. And since this thread is really thick, I'm not going to double it over this time. Just going to tie a knot in the single end. I'm going to take away our yellow. And then we're going to first put a stitch under the orange layer. So then we can tuck in the end. And then we're going to sew all the way around the orange, leaving about an inch to do the stuffing. And since the stitches will be shown on this, we want to do them nice and neat and small. So now we've sewn all the way around and left about an inch gap. Before we stuff it, we want to get the yellow. Measure it up again in case the orange has changed size. And then we want to glue it on and wait for it to dry before we stuff it. And we're going to wait for the glue to dry and then we can stuff it. 
while I'm waiting I am going to glue on the mouth and eyes as well so they have time to dry and as we're waiting for that to dry I am going to do the details with the pen Calcifer needs some pupils in his eyes and he also needs his eyes outlining in black now we need to line the lips, well, the mouth and the red part in a dark red but I don't have dark red so I'm going to use this weird purpley colour now Calcifer is all dry we just need to stuff him neatly sew up the gap stitch on the elastic to hang him from and he will be all done I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like share and subscribe also say hello down below in the comment section I want to hear your thoughts and I will see you in the next video bye